All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the review table, and I want to do a review on this little guy right here. This is the Breek Arms Warhammer, and I thought it'd be a lot more interesting if we just kind of did something other than just, you know, a uh, review of it. But let's go ahead and talk about this guy. First of all, Breek Arms, $49.99. I got this thing from Optics Planet. Remember, you can get 5% off with your discount code of KP32 tag. A couple things. This thing comes in black, flat, dark earth, OD green, and gray. And what they do is they talk about this handle right here. I want you to look at this. I, 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 uh... I like it a lot. Actually, I, I started playing around when I put it in a couple different platforms. This is a uh, 12 and a half inch deal from the, and a barrel from the guys over there. Barrel, what is it? Some ballistics, something precision. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Hanson profile, uh, ballistic advantage. There you go. <laughs> anyway, this is one of my favorite uh, go tos, and we're going to talk about the, the this stuff. Okay, here in a little bit in another video, I just want to talk to you about the cool stuff from Zenico. And they're Russian. Yeah, I know. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so the Warhammer. Let's talk about this thing. Pretty, pretty neat little deals. Uh, 7075 T6 aluminum fits all mil spec. Type 3 hard coat anodized. Perfect replacement for any factory charging handle. And they also have instructions for those of you who don't know how to change the damn thing out. Oversized ambidextrous levers. Now, I don't have a mil spec. Uh, charging handle on me real right now but i will tell you this one of my go-to's this is the radian raptor and uh you can see the as the size as it is uh it's very similar now i like the thin design you do have a gas blocker back here in the back if you're looking for a custom charging handle this is pretty good uh, when compared to let's say the geisley airborne this thing is 105 dollars the radian raptor is 95 this is the Jackal from the guys over there, X2 uh, Development Group. This thing's like a Warhammer, honestly, a Warhammer. Ah, that's a Warhammer. Uh, comparison in size, you can see you're getting the same pull radius. This has a couple more features than this guy does with the locking levers. Uh, this, like it for instance, if you hit this on the outside without triggering the, the trigger things here, you're not going to be able to release it. But with this, it performs just like the Airborne. Now, Airborne is designed so it doesn't, it's small, collapsible, smaller size, as you can see. It is designed so that when you're jumping at us at an airplane, uh, either, uh, you know, you're doing your uh, high altitude, low opening, uh, you're not going to catch that on a lot of stuff. Okay, so in any case, very slim design. I really dig it. Higher rear shelf relief cuts to divert suppressor gases. Weighs in at just under one ounce. If you're into that weight savings deal, this is probably not a bad way to go. No gunsmith required and made in the USA. All right. But honestly, for $49.99, this is a really good deal. I just wanted to do something that was a little bit different. They have a micro war hammer mod 2 and that AR3. What is it? AR10. Uh, there's another one that I really like that I am going to actually call some people and see if I can go ahead and get it. But I, I dig the living snot out of this thing. So I'm going to cut away real quickly. We're going to go ahead and put it into this upper running the Chip McCormick CMC. There's a couple different bolt carrier groups that I've got. Uh, I just built a rifle. Uh, actually, we're going to put the Lantac in there. This is a Faxon. I love these guys right here, but let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here so you can see what it looks like and how it looks inside an upper receiver. Stand by. All right, so here you go. That's what it looks like. Look at the low profile inside that upper receiver. That is some really cool stuff right there. All right, real quickly, let's show you what it looks like in a full upper. The my All right, so running with an optic on top. My biggest thing is to be able to get my hand in here. I want to be able to come back if I have to clear a malfunction and like that, I don't do this. I don't do this unless I've got something that's really pried up in there. But this, wow, look at that, is the way to go. This is a really neat little trick right here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hyper fire. Bad as hell. I can tell you unequivocally, without a doubt, uh, this is pretty damn decent way to go. I'm going to tell you something. Will it stand to be mortared? Uh, how well will this hold up? I'm not exactly sure. I've had some other ones that have broken loose on me. Not this, uh, but I will tell you this. 
this is a pretty neat little deal. Hey, listen, if you uh, want some more information on this thing, I'm going to put something in the campsite down below. You can take a look at it. But other than that, man, wow, American made, not bad. KB32, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. And, and that is enough of our info commercial. Little American flag right there. Freak arms. American made. <laughs> Y'all be good. I'm out of here.